Morning everybody, it is day 14 of Vlogmas. I can't believe it's the 14th of December. It's only 11 days till Christmas, yay! Sorry about yesterday's cop out video. I just uploaded one I'd already done as part of Vlogmas. The reason being is I was just so exhausted from all the shenanigans with regards to the burst pipe on Tuesday that um, I just didn't have the energy to do anything yesterday. Um, however, I'm back today. I'll show you that pipe a bit later on. I've just got to go out to choir practice, so I'm off out to that now, and then I'll be back and I'll show you that pipe. Also, Missy the Binge Reader has announced the books that we'll be reading for the 2018 Stephen King Read Along. Woohoo! So that's exciting. So, um, I will discuss those books with you as well because, um, some of the books that she has, well, two of the books that she's put on there for next year I've already read or I'm in the process of reading, so I will be replacing them with something else, and I'll explain how I'm going to do that later, but right now I'm off out, so I will be back later. See you soon. So I'm back from choir rehearsal, and I've had some lunch, things are going great. Choir's going to be really good fun, actually. I will try and get some footage of it tomorrow. I can't guarantee it, because obviously I'm in the choir, so it's very hard for me to film it while I'm in it, but if I can get somebody to... Um, Take a little bit of footage while we're there, why not? As you see, I'm in a different location. Got the Christmas tree behind me. Very nice, very festive. Um, so yes, um, today, or on day 13 of um, Vlogmas, <clears throat> Missy over at the Binge Reader announced her 2018 list of the Stephen King books that she will be, um, we will be attempting for the 2018 Stephen, Stephen King read along or audio along because she takes to listen to the audiobooks. It takes me months to listen to an audiobook, I'm terrible, but I can read the books. So I have actually pretty much completed this Gears Stephen King read along because I've read all but Christine, which is this month's book anyway, so I know I'm going to finish it. So we read, I'm just trying to think, what did we read? Um, Doctor Sleep, Gerald's Game, she read End of Watch or Finders Keepers from the Bill Hodges trilogy, I hadn't read any of them so I replaced the book with, with the first one, uh, Mr Mercedes. There was another one and I'm trying to see if I can see which one it is, hang on. I have no idea. January, February, March. Oh, yeah, and then April to October was the Dark Tower. So that was the seven books of the Dark Tower series. Then November was Firestarter and December's Christine. Now, I said I've only got to finish Christine off. I will be able to do that. It won't take me long. Uh, so I actually completed it, or I will have completed it by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Um, i got to be honest, Firestarter took me about a day and a bit to read because I literally took it to the hospital when I had to have my glucose intolerance test and I just sat there and read it for two hours. Because <laughs> I'm a bit crazy that way. So anyway, on to the books for the 2018 list. Where Missy has carried a book over from this year that she didn't complete, I will replace that with a book that she read in 2016 when I didn't do the readathon. So in January we will be reading Misery, in February we will be reading Blaze which was written under the pseudonym Richard Bachman, in March we will be reading Dolores Claiborne, in April The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, in May she has Firestarter on her list but I have read that so I am going to replace that with Finders Keepers which is the second book in the Bill Hodges trilogy and I haven't read that yet so I'm going to replace Finders Keepers with that one. June is Thinner, July is Night Shift, which is a collection of short stories, August is Different Seasons, which is four short stories in one book, September is Pet Cemetery. Now October and November she's got one book across two months because she's planning on reading uh, The Tommy Knockers, which is like almost a thousand pages. I don't find that daunting because I'm a bit mad, so I will be reading uh, hopefully Tommy Knock is in October and then if I finish that in October for November I will just put in Carrie which is one that she read in 2016 and December she will be reading Christine which is this year's book um, which I plan to finish this month um, so I will replace that with another massive book which is Stephen King's It which she uh, again read in 2016. 
So those are the books from the, the Stephen Kingathon. She will also be carrying on with The Dark Tower. So some of these like Misery Blaze and, and that, they're quite small books. So she should hopefully be able to get them all done. I, I admire her for listening to them all on audiobook because I gotta be honest, I started, I, I mean I downloaded, I've got like uh, quite a few downloaded. I downloaded um, the Definitive Sherlock Holmes and I'm on book three of that which is the short story collection The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I've also got two of the Sarah J Mass ones, the the Court series. I've, I listened to the first one, I've got the other two to listen to. And then I've also, I downloaded one the other day, which I can't remember the name of, it's a thriller. And I've also got two Dan Browns, um, The Lost Symbol, which I never read, and the and Origin, the new one, to listen to. And I've still got five audible credits, because I don't bother buying them and, and downloading them uh, until I see something I want. And I'm, if I've got to be honest, I don't really listen to audiobooks. It's something I must start doing a bit more. I tend to, 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 tended to do it when I was doing overtime at work because we would just be like typing emails and I can listen and type and I don't type what I'm listening to. I can't talk and type, I tend to type what I'm saying. So that is the Stephen Kingathon readathon, Stephen Kingathon for 2018. Um, she does have a Twitter group, so she will be updating that and we may be starting a Goodreads group, which would be really cool if it is. Uh, once we get started on it, I will leave links down below. I will leave a link to Mitty's channel in the notes below so that if you want to go and check it out, you can because she has put her update on there. So Stephen King is, is such a, a prolific author. There's so many books and some of them, and most of them are very, very long. We're talking like seven to a thousand pages easy on most of them. There are a few of the shorter ones, so I'm glad she's picked some of the shorter ones this year. But I'm really looking forward to it again. I've enjoyed it this year. Um, other than Firestar and Christine, which are upstairs, all my Stephen King books are down here, so I'm going to show you that shelf in a minute. And um, I'll catch up with you a bit later if I've got anything, if I can think of anything else to say. All right. So there you are, there's my Stephen King shelf at the moment. Has the Dark Tower on it, it has Bizarre of Bad Dreams. 11-22-63, Mr. Mercedes, Gerald's Game, Doctor Sleep and The Shining. So there's two more upstairs and then of course the 12 I need to buy for next year. Plan on buying them three a month from December's pay onwards so it'll only take me four months to get all 12. So that's my little Stephen King collection at the moment.